I'm definitely grinding. <laughs> so, man, so many people you said that I, I like have like a, a lot of respect for you. Just your mentality, you wanting to to be number one, things like that. I love the fact of not only you addressing the the data analyst, but also you addressing. Because I mean, my background in tech is primarily sales engineer, right? And one of the things I've noticed is that. And I'm sure you've probably seen it too, where many, many times I'm a person, I don't necessarily tell people, oh, become a sales engineer. Mm -hmm. I try to point them to a few different routes and right. a few different options. But one of the things I've noticed is that most people that follow me, many of them try to become a sales engineer. And my first question would be, well, why do you want to be a sales engineer? Right. And when we really get down to the nitty gritty of it, it's because they know me and they're like, you're in tech, you seem to be doing good. I want to do what you did. Yeah. And it's like, yo, pump the brakes. You might not enjoy being a sales engineer. Right. Like I enjoyed it, but it fits me. Right. But I know people that are in tech sales and they're like, I would never want to do that. And yeah. I know people that are sales engineers like, I would never want to, to do that thing. And it's like, I, I, you're the first person I've like I've had on this set of their mouth. Like, yo, I didn't enjoy that sales engineer yeah. stuff. And I love people hearing that because I love people hearing, okay, you know what? Let me pull back. Right. Somebody who's sitting here with Cyrus just said to Cyrus, yo, what you do is all right, but that ain't for me. Yeah. And hopefully it'll make people reconsider. And again, the goal isn't to scare anybody. The goal is to, to help people make like, better help them. decisions. Yeah. Be yeah. better career advisors than a career advisor you had yeah. when you were no, in school. Literally. And I think there's major differences in our role. Like, yeah. you know, like if you are somebody who's more technically astute in my, in, you know, like in my opinion, that's a, a great role. Like yeah. if you want to talk to customers about technical features, demo products, if that's your niche and you're great at that, you still have to have great presentation skills, yeah. great customer facing skills, but your focus is more on the technology. Yeah. My focus is on the business, yes. right? Like the contracts, the money, that's what I'm focused on on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what drives me. Like, I like the numbers. I like math. I like I like money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, And I've, I've never <laughs> known how much the product has cost to any company I worked at. Right. And it's like, I'm like I've never known that because that's, not, that's not for me yeah. to know. But I would know a lot of the technical. I would know more about the product than than most of the tech sales yeah. people that I work with. So I like being the quarterback. That's how yeah. I think of myself. Like yeah. and y'all y'all are the quarterback. Yeah, like I want to yeah. be the quarterback. You know, I'm gonna throw the ball to the receiver or run the ball or whoever I need to bring in or whatever I need to orchestrate so we can all make the play. That's how I'm looking at it. That's how I look at sales. Yeah, the sales engineer is coming in, but I tell everybody the sales engineer sells. You sell the product. Oh, yeah. yeah we I sell the relationship. I sell the mm, business. You sell the product. That's the truth. So, like, people got to understand that. Because if my yeah. sales engineer sucks, I can't make business happen. I've had. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's a so team thing. Like, I've real. been a part of teams. So, as a sales engineer, I've, of course, I'm attached to the team of account executives that I work right. with. Or, or tech sales, sales reps, whatever. And there have been times where where account executives or sales reps that were with other teams, they didn't want to use their sales engineer. They would hit me up and be like, they would throw a demo on my calendar and I'd be like, did y'all go to y'all person? They'd be like, Cyrus, please, he sucks. Literally. Like, it's like, I'm tired of close, losing deals, deals. You because he doesn't deals. know how to demo. So it's not just me. Like I can't just close the business. Yeah. I can't just close the business. I, it really takes synergy. When I was making yeah. that type of money, I had a really good synergy. Like it yeah. was like me and my partner, like I had a, it was me and another account executive and one um, one sales engineer because yeah. we sold like kind of like a dual product, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I was in. So when I was at One Trust, I was a data governance executive. So what I was doing is I was helping companies to protect our sensitive information. So mm -hmm. how do we, you know, scan into an infrastructure, understand what data lives in there and what is highly sensitive? You mm -hmm. got a credit card, you go to Walmart, you swipe it, Cyrus's name, your your whole card your expiration all that is living somewhere once yeah. you do that swipe so how do you know that's actually protected where does it live once mm -hmm. it goes there this is like the conversation i was having but my counterpart he was selling the privacy solutions so like okay. how does the organization organization take that data now and remain audit compliant like how do yeah. you you know build this into your other processes within your organization so we had to have a really good synergy because we're trying to sell the whole solution. We're exactly. not just trying to sell just one part, my part you or do yours. Both parts. Yeah. We killed it. Like it was yeah. just like magic. Like, you know, yeah. so I, I also Voila. think being a Man. great team player is a really great skill and characteristic to have in tech sales um, because it's extremely competitive. You're like definitely up against your quota and your number, mm -hmm. but you can't really make that happen unless you are a team player and understand how to facilitate the team that you need. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was really dope experience. I would say that.